Hey, Don, this is Kirk. Uh, hey, everything in this boat works. Perfect. You got your, I put your dual uh, overlay or dual um, radar up on the screen, th three quarters. Move this back half mile. That works. There's your AIS icon right there. That's that dredger up there. That works. Every, all the IS works. Your autopilot pops up. The only thing we need to do is I got it set. It ain't crab walking or anything like that. But it needs uh, the hydraulic steering bled. That is off. And I, I'll show you how I can tell. I'm going to kick this off because we're holding pretty good on the course. We're about like say four off and it kind of goes back. That means there's air in the system. But I got it to hold and I know the heading sensor. I cal recalibrated that. It recalibrated your compass GS25. And I went and tested with my compass and all the compasses settings are perfect. So I can shut this off. I'll bring it back. I'm going to shut off the autopilot. And I think I know what you're doing wrong on something else. Stand by. Get out of that. Uh, so now if you go into menu, you go into chart. And you'll see your radar overlay popping up. We're on the kicker right now. There's your radar overlay right here. It's working. You're not crab walking. We're going straight for the... The line over here I put a heading line on here you had it on a follow-up or look ahead so you do have a heading line you can see it isn't crab walking it's heading right for that so that part's good now you go into the sound sonar <clears throat> that works good but what happened that was loose it, when you hit it probably popped it up and loosened it so they retighten it but they do need to drop it because it's about say 30 miles an hour you will lose the depth Sometimes when you're out there, you get a lot of air, you're maybe going, you stop, it can blow out for a second, just wait. And that temp, if you stop, that should pop back up again, your depth and your bottom. And I put it on medium chirp instead of 83 kilohertz. A side scan works fine. And you can just hit that up here. If you want your down scan, you just hit that one there. You go left and right, you just hit down. There's your down scan. So that works. Uh, radar independently works works fine that's us in the middle that's that ship so that you're here not there and there's more ships up here so that works fine radios work fine autopilot works fine now on u-turns uh, there is no uh, settings for that just so you know they, not even on Garmin they don't have that they don't want some guy doing 20 miles an hour or 30 and then hitting that U-turn button, you know, throw everybody out of the boat. Uh, see, so you go up into here, you got to have it on straight course here, and then what I'll do is I'll put autopilot. Now wait until it catches up. These numbers match, all three of these. And we're going to be off about four on to the port side just because the steering's off. See, we're dropping to 130. So I hit into this and then I go into settings. Whoops, back. Sorry about that. Go into that, go to turns. See, now C turns, you're going to have that time that they'll let you adjust that, right? Okay, you go to turns again, you go to U turns. There is no settings and never was. Uh, they won't put it in there. So that part, you, there's nothing you can do about it. See, 130, 131, 133, 131, and you'll go to 132 pretty quick, so I know it's in the steering. How you can tell, I'm going to kick that off. I'm going to put that on standby. I'm going to, okay, so now we're on standby there, and then, like I say, if you go over here, I did add that one for you, and I added this one for you. <sighs> that way it gives you your autopilot. You can always hit that, but it brings it back down here. It gives you your uh, GPS. It gives you your radar overlay. This is on radar A. This is on radar B. So if you change this, it will not change that. It's going to stick to the like a half mile, whatever you had it set for. Because if you hit that, that orange, that lights up, you go into menu, you go to radar options, and right here is where you change the range on that one. Okay, so go back. Now to shut it off,